morning. <laughs> I'm laughing because you know what? I don't really do so many videos. I don't even know how to turn the machine on. I think I got it, got it on. Today is December the 28th. And this is 20, this is 2021. Today, Taisha Miller was killed. Uh, in 1998. So, first stop is we're going to go and we're going to visit the spot where she was killed at. Review her story a little bit. Uh, yeah, this is a real sad one. So, I'm in L.A. right now. And I'm getting ready to make that drive up. So, uh, in about... I didn't check my GPS, but in about an hour, I'll be back. As um, I'm riding over to see uh, Taisha Miller, I came from as nice and sunny in LA, <laughs> but look at the clouds now. It's like. ominous. Gas, the gas clouds. I'm almost there. 34 more minutes. I'm gonna be there. Okay, so it's really, really, really raining right now. I'm gonna turn the car around. I'm coming up on the area where Taisha Miller was killed. I didn't think it was in the heart of uh, Riverside because they always say that it's in Moreno Valley. But it's not in Moreno Valley. It's actually in the heart of Riverside. So I'm gonna turn the camera away from me and film it as I ride up to that spot. Head south towards Central Avenue. It is really raining. Turn right onto Central Avenue. Really raining. Raining hard. Wow. I'm nervous. Get coming here. And it's actually kind of emotional too because this girl was only 19 years old. She was just a teenager. We're approximately three minutes away from the spot. We did, we had to get off of Central Avenue. And this is where we're going now. We're going to the death site where Taisha Miller was killed on December 28th, 1998. This is actually my first time visiting the death site of anyone who was any black person that has been killed by police. This is my first one. Um, there's a story behind that. I'm gonna make sure I tell you what the story is, but right now, let's find out where she died at. Let's see the intersection. So as you can see, we're in a really uh, populated area here. This is not some far out spot. I mean, Moreno Valley's far out spots. 
it's kind of desolate. But this is not, this, this, this not, doesn't look like desolation at all. This is like the center of the city right here. She couldn't find anybody to change her tire is a story, but so far we've, we've passed two gas stations. Um, over on the right hand side, you see Allen Tires. No, no, it's a tire store. Uh, and it's about 1.20 in the afternoon here on December 28, 2021. There's Allen Tires right over there. Okay. Uh, we done, we crossed the Anza. Okay, just keeping it a little bit focused. Some of these places weren't here, like Jamba probably wasn't there. It probably wasn't there. And here we come to Magnolia. So this is the intersection. This is the intersection where she was killed. There's Kumatire over there. There's Brockton. So she was killed right over here by 76. Okay, now let me see if I can see, find some place to park at. I don't want to park over there. Uh, I don't want to park over there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so now it's all red in here. There's a parking space right there. I'm going to see if I can get over there. Maybe I have to go around the corner. People drive kind of fast in Riverside. Ooh, it's not really a street. I think it is. Okay. Yeah, it is a street. Two hour parking. All right, so let me park. All right. I'm going to go over there to the 76 station and I'm going to ask them what corner was she killed at. Let's do that. This is the loose station. They say she was killed right here. Right here. Doesn't appear to be anybody here. Let me go in. This is the inner, this is the intersection. Let me put my mask on. Miller was killed here? A uh, long time ago, long, long time ago. It yeah. was right there? Yeah. Oh, are they having a vigil for her today? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure on that. Oh. Yeah. So it was actually on the property, huh? Yeah. It was. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure on that, uh, to be honest. Okay. Because I know they had one uh, last year. Yeah, this year, I don't know. Okay. Maybe because of the weather, or I don't know. What. Maybe. Do you know what time she was killed? I said it was at night. No, at the time, I don't know. I wasn't okay. working that day. Okay. All right, thank you so much. No worries. All right, so we have determined that this spot over here, right over here, she was actually killed on this property. Let me see if I, they probably cleaned up all the blood. Well, let me see if I see any blood down here, because <clears throat> blood is kind of hard to get up. <clears throat> well, they do have mats down. And I don't see, I don't see anything that would indicate blood, but it was probably where these mats are right now. Because I remember, uh, if you remember from the pictures, the cops were underneath the car, he was putting mats underneath the car. Oh, yeah. See if I feel anything. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Right here in this spot. Right here at the express loop. Yeah, they probably cleaned up all the blood. 
because I don't see no blood on the ground. And I know it was a lot of blood because she was shot multiple times. I don't know if this is paint or blood right here. Right there, that could be blood. Because her car was stopped. This look like blood. That look like blood for real. Yeah, that is blood. Yeah. Okay, so now we know. So it's right here. We don't know the time. And the guy that was in there was actually working for the company at the time when she was killed 20 years ago. Yeah. Okay. That was good. I, I, I needed that. So now we got to talk about what do we take away from the case? Because there are certain things about the case that need to be addressed. Certain things that still haven't changed. And we're going to discuss those things in a minute. Okay. It's raining really hard now. I'm still at the death site of Taisha Miller, who was killed right here, across the street over there. Here's what we take away from this case. The media repeatedly fails to print the date the person was born. We hear an age, but we never hear when the black person is, is born. This is racism towards blacks. We still do not know the facts on the Taisha Miller case. Taisha Miller's cousins were present at the time. How come we never hear the witness statements? Because there is no hero to record them. No hero. No one wants to be a hero, it seems. Everyone is scared of these killer cops. We need to pass laws that make it mandatory to post the pictures of the victims before and after they are killed, along with the picture of the cops who killed them or beat them. There should, there should be no immunity with that. Every time we, should, we need to do that. We need to, see the, we need to see this done on past killings and beatings, as well as those that happen in the future. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button. And we will continue to visit the death sites of black people killed by cops on American soil. Until then, keep it real. Me is the Dirt Drummer Priest, IMP.